The SMED has a place for everybody. Here we have artists, we have academics, and we have athletes, and they all have a place here in our community. There are all kinds of different interests, there are different clubs, uh, and if it doesn't currently exist, we can make it happen. We believe that each individual person matters. Nobody falls through the cracks here. I walked in and I immediately knew, like, I want to go here. No one has to change who they are to be accepted at this Met. We're really formed into kind of a brotherhood here. No matter where you're from, you're, you're going to fit in here at this Met. Whatever it is that you enjoy, you'll find your niche here and you'll find people who love you for what you do. There's such a wide variety that everybody finds their spot. There is structure, but it's it's a little relaxed, so they can have some fun as well as um, learn. Through the shadowing experience and, and through the, the open houses, I kind of learned that DISMED is more than just a school. It's a community. Jesuit education for centuries has always been associated with rigor and academic excellence. Here he knows that he's going to be challenged, he knows that the curriculum is rigorous, he knows that he's going to leave this met well prepared to go to college. We recognize that abilities are not the same. We recognize that each of our students is unique, that they are each an individual who come with their own gifts and talents. We take those freshmen and make sure that they feel comfortable in our academic setting that they feel challenged, and that transition between eighth grade and freshman year is a comfortable one. We offer over 120 hours of college credit for somebody to have the equivalent of their freshman year or well into their, their sophomore year behind them by the time they leave high school. That's, that's pretty common practice. It's not unusual for a DeSmet graduating class to get over $25 million worth of scholarships as a, as a group. You know, typically about 70% of our, our graduates, sometimes more than that, get some kind of college scholarship exclusive of financial aid. Academically, I was very well prepared for college. With the curriculum from the SMET, I was very prepared during football season and during the off season. I was able to take a, a higher course load than maybe some of my peers. We believe in Cura Personalis, care for the individual person. Each person has a lot going on in their life, and it's up to the faculty and the adults in the building to make sure that, that we care for the whole person. You know, it's not just academics. For us, we use six characteristics that we think are essential elements to Jesuit education. Uh, open to growth, religious, loving, committed to justice, developing as a leader, and intellectually competent. My my hope for, uh, for all the, the young men who enter the SMET is that when they graduate here, that they really have um, taken the, the ideals and the values of the graduate and graduation and not only integrated those into their lives, but, but achieved success in, in attaining those, uh, those goals. The SMET does a fantastic job of growing leaders, preparing their students for college and keeping them active, not just from an educational standpoint, but also an extracurricular. The environment in itself uh, fosters, fosters that faith through Ignatian, Ignatian values and traditions. That spiritual aspect, that's part of the reason why I came to Dismet was because of the uh, great brotherhood and community. But for the Jesuits, retreats are always have always been a big thing. St. Ignatius is the patron saint of retreats. And because of the spiritual exercises, we've really tried to base our retreats on those. With the idea of putting all the daily activities that you have typically out of your mind for a couple of days to just focus on your faith was a new concept to him. Junior year is the best retreat in my experience so far, uh, just Kairos. Students lead, students organize, um, they give talks, they lead small groups. So you end up having students being peer ministers to each other. It's a three-day retreat at a retreat center. It's an awesome experience. It's where you really break down the walls, get real with your classmates, get real with your friends, uh, meet guys you don't really know very well, learn stuff about guys you never would have expected. I think it's important for students to belong to something that's greater than themselves. We have the traditional sports um, like basketball, football, baseball, soccer, but we also have sports like ultimate frisbee, lacrosse, 
uh, inline hockey, racquetball. Winning, of course, is great, but more important than success in a certain endeavor, whether it be on the football field or on a track. As a coach, I view success more by the effort put in by an athlete, by the growth that is shown, and basically the pride he can take in himself at the end of a season. The biggest thing I learned was uh, selflessness, and I put the team first, especially, and I learned that here at DeSmet in high school. And some of those values I still uh, that were instilled by Coach Mahoney and Coach Steiner and the athletics I played here, still I still carry with me today. You're held to a high standard, especially uh, during the season, because you have to um, manage your workload and your uh, practice load, and your coaches expect that out of you, and your coaches expect you to remain academically eligible. What I like the most is the way students support each other's sports. Uh, we're not isolated, whether we're a football team or a water polo team. The students are going to show up. You need to get involved right away to find your niche at DeSmet, and once you find that niche, you'll be able to flourish. It's after school, there's a concession stand that opens, kids stick around and socialize. Sometimes girls from the all-girls school come up. Uh, different activities such as sports, uh, tra training, workouts, uh, theater kids stay around, you can always find them in the Emerson Lobby. One of the great things about an education at DeSmet is you really get a, a chance to, to meet other students from throughout the, the metro area. We're here to service all students, um, students from different backgrounds, whether it be ethnic backgrounds, religious backgrounds, uh, socioeconomic backgrounds, no matter what it is, uh, we're here to service all of our students. Every day for us is an opportunity to learn just like our students learn. I look at teachers more, not only as they teachers, but their mentors. Here it's like, I'm excited to go to class, I'm excited to see friends and teachers in the same person. We like to customize the academic program to challenge each individual student. For us not to offer the very best technology that we possibly can to students would really be unfair. It's part of every class that, that a young man takes. You know, whether he's an English class or math class or science class, social studies class, he's going to te use technology to be a better student. He's going to use technology as a tool to grow in the classroom. All the teachers are pretty warm and welcoming and they're always available for extra time after class and before school and a lot during activity period also. Another hallmark of Jesuit education uh, is, is the idea of the greater glory, AMDG, that we would like to uh, do as much as we can. We want to excel and that there isn't anything that we wouldn't do for God. Men for Others is obviously a huge part of the Jesuit motto here at DeSmet. The service opportunities you're not going to find anywhere else. At DeSmet I, I went on three service trips, New Orleans, Honduras, and Nicaragua. The service is the foundation of Men for Others and DeSmet does an excellent job with that. It's important to understand that you know we're not here just for the greater glory of our lives. Our goal is to try to bring the greater glory of God in as many places as we can. 